Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Kaushik Goblin. This is Goblin KPV, and today we are doing a special unboxing of the Sentinel Comics Starter Kit. If you like the video, if this gives you joy, if this educates you, etc., etc., like, comment, subscribe, all the bits and pieces down below on YouTube. We're a Twitch TV channel as well, and we're also on Twitter while it survives. So check us out there on Goblin Cave TV as well. So let's get into this. Uh, Sentinel Comics is a franchise I don't really know much about. I bought it because I really want to play a comic book game on the channel, and this is one of the ones which just came out, and I'm actually really, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed the look of it when I got it here. So this is a starter kit. It's not a beginner box. It's a starter kit. It's lacking a lot of things. Um, I would say here's the box size, but um, it's not actually a box. This is just a cover sheet. And not just that, this is your GM screen. <laughs> so your, your cover sheet for everything is actually your GM screen. GM screens is one of the things that beginner boxes and starter sets lack. Um, yes, okay, this does not have a quick reference for the players, but it's got one for the GM, so this is awesome. So I'm really impressed just with that cover sheet as well. So I'll put that off to the side. Um, we have the beginner, we have the gameplay guide. This is your rules. Um, the artwork, by the way, in this is really comic book based. This game is a comic book styled game. So everything is very much comic book style. Um, so you've got 20 pages in this. It's a nice, simple, it's a nice printing, um, as in nice stock. It's just a simple um, staple bound together. Um, but the artwork is amazing. Really, this page here, this half page with the dice, is how to play the game. That's it. Um, the dice are color-coded here because the same dice are the ones you buy um, for the Sentinel comics, so they're always color-coded like this. Uh, I do have a copy of them sliced myself, but they don't come with the starter set. Um, other than that, there's more expanded rules, etc., and it's 20-odd pages, um, and nice and pretty and highly decorated. Um, we've got six character sheets, and these character sheets are not character sheets, but rather character folios. So the one thing they're missing is a is a blurb of saying play this character if you want to play this style but it does give a an indication of what the character is about huge power suit that changes modes and wields a riot cannon so you've got these little blurbs here on the front cover you got a good image of them um, this explains the character sheet kind of how the turns work as well and even what powers you have and how those powers are explained and how they work. So it really goes into the details of, if you're new to this game, this is how it works, which is really, really important for a starter set or beginner box. It does have that in mind. And it's got extra information for characters which have, characters which have new, like different modes or other abilities like Bunker does. And again, you've got six of these, good complement, a good variety, and each one of them as well has all the same bits and pieces and the same levels of explanation. Um, I think they're really impressive. They're high quality in art style. Print is about, uh, it's not low, that's, that's for sure, but I do like them, at least in art style. The art in this has all been amazing and I've always been impressed by the art style of the Central Comics. Now, this is the issues. They don't have adventures in Central Comics, they have issues. So these are supposed to be a, probably one session um, scenarios, in theory. You probably do them larger, but the idea is to complete them. And you then build them together to have a, a print run or a, a series run type thing. So you've got six of them. Um, they're, I'm not going to go through them all, but they're all detailed um, and got good details of them. They're all pretty small. Again, they're supposed to be single play, like single session play, and they're all pretty diverse. Um, again, the artworks. These three here, I would, without going through in detail, I would believe are supposed to be done together, because if you can see, they're issue 345, 345, 345. 
So I'd say these three issues are meant to be played together, even though they've got issue 67, 86, and 740. I don't know comic books that well, so I don't know how much that's supposed to go, but yeah. So overall, these are supposed to be one big arc, and um, that's it. That's the entire Sentinel Comics starter set. It doesn't have dice, doesn't have maps. Those things annoy me that it doesn't have those. I, I'm very impressed with the fact that the cover is the GM screen. I think that's really cool. But there's no box as well, which is kind of annoying. Um, but other than that, it hits pretty much all the boxes you want. The system itself is really simple. And if you want a system which the system's great, the IP or the setting might not be the best, this is a really good system for comic books. I'm not a big fan of the, the IP. That's the only difference there. But um, that's my thoughts on this. It's a really short one because while this has got a lot of adventure, it's packed with adventures, it's missing a lot of things which I would usually look for in a beginner box. So that's it for me. Enjoy your role playing. Always remember, failing forward is almost is almost always the most entertaining thing to do or the most entertaining option. So bye.